Previously on Dungeon Breaker, our heroes began to pick their way through the maze leading to Baphomet's palace in order to steal a hammer. As we rejoin them, they've just been confronted by a massive lava-filled chasm with a rickety rope bridge. And there is a rickety rope bridge ahead of you. Hey, it is, rickety rope it bridge! It is ominous, it is cliched, and it is intimidating. I think I walk, like after everyone else has come out, I walk up and I'm like, oh, is it just a bridge? Oh, I've crossed loads of bridges. <laughs> you see, you and I crossed a few bridges in my time, I have to say. I mostly burn them. I'm all about building new bridges. <laughs> wow. Um, Too many puns. This takes the corpse around his shoulders. And then just tries to lob it onto the bridge just to try and test the weight of it. Okay. Uh, make me a, just a dex throw. That was my favourite moment so far in Dungeon Breaker. What? The so, bridge yeah, thing? That was wonderful. <laughs> I loved that. Eight. Okay. I'm worried about what's going to happen. <laughs> you throw it, but... If you're not worried when I'm doing something, you're not paying. It lands and sort of skids a bit and starts... Um, it, it like It's half hanging off the bridge. Hmm. Can I go? Sorry. Yes. Cisco sprints oh, for no. it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like you have thrown a ball for an adorable little dog that's gotten into the cocaine. Cisco charges forward. No. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> um, Can... it's... Sorry. Yeah, go on, miss. Can I cast Mage Hand in front of Cisco to stop him from running. Interesting. Uh, Mate's hand on his collar. <laughs> uh, let's see. Mate let's go, hand. Jesus Christ, Cisco! I don't know if it would be strong enough. Yeah, I um. Mate's hand. Oh Christ! <laughs> oh my goodness. Um. Cultural institution. It's... Its maximum carry weight is ten pounds, yeah. and it can't attack. So I know I've said. I just want it to appear, just to as a barrier, essentially. Okay. All right. Uh, let me. Okay. Yeah. What's your spell save DC? That's a way to hack this. Okay. Uh, it's twelve. Uh, Cisco is fooled. Um, he stops. <laughs> And like, is is he's sort of keeping his distance, but making little snaps at the mage hand. Um, and the mage hand just goes like this, as if to go, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> um, it's only I cast I cast the minor illusion of a water spray bottle. <laughs> 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 uh, I thought you were gonna see like a newspaper on the snow. It's, it's, look, the only way to really get a claw foot to behave is positive reinforcement. You need to feed him something that isn't on a rope bridge. Um, well, Mage Hand will only run last run. for one minute, and Cisco is still, like, he's kind of ducking and weaving and trying to find That's a way fine, to get to that corpse. The other thing I really wanted to do is I wanted to go over to the bridge and uh, touch it and cast Identify. Okay, yeah. Go for it. Interesting. Mm. Whilst that's going on, could I get my rope and like turn it into a lasso to kind of like bring in Cisco to just like try and reel him back yeah, in? Yeah, make me a dex, dex throw, please. Uh, dex, dex. Uh, uh, I guess it would just be straight up dex, unless you have okay. uh, proficiency in lasso. <laughs> <laughs> if only. I'll have you know I have proficiency in lasso. Uh, uh 12. College of Cowboy. Uh, I'm afraid that is uh, that doesn't uh, meet the armor class, so you miss. You Damn. can you can try again, but um, there's only there's only about 20 seconds left on Mage Hand. Um, Ooh, missed you. I will try. Again. You go over to the bridge and you cast Identify. Um, it is. It's kind of like. In a sort of emerging theme, 
in this maze. It seems mundane enough, but it is magic in that if it is broken, it will reform itself. So while it is perilously rickety, you get the feeling that if it breaks, it will come back again. Um, okay. It's kind. It's kind of like it's kind of like a trap door <laughs> that can be reset. But it's, it's a okay. bridge. I share yes! this. <laughs> the I, share this in, <laughs> I share this information with the the crew. Mm -hmm. Um, and I go. I don't know. Maybe it makes sense for us to go one at a time. So if it breaks for one of us, it will reform for the next one. Amelia uh, throws up a hand and says, I volunteer to go, maybe not first. Hold but on, Amelia. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do something a little bit uncharacteristic here and volunteer to go first. I do have Featherfall, so if anything bad happens, at least I've got some kind of protection. <laughs> I know, all right, stop looking at me weird. <laughs> <laughs> Amelia kind of leans into Farid and it's like, he does know that if he... Feather falls, he's just going to land in lava slowly. <laughs> it might give him time to him, catch Just him. let him do it. Just let him do it. <laughs> <laughs> I obviously can't hear that, and I'm like, yeah, that's a really good plan. Inspiration, Dean Abdu. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, she's like, okay, well. I do consider Dean Abdu an inspiration. Absolutely. 100%. And for ease. Uh, yeah, Amelia says, I, I'd like to go second. Uh, because uh, frankly if I have to watch all of you fall in and die and then I have to go I'm going to lose my nerve <laughs> lost <laughs> yeah that's totally not unexpected okay uh, what's going on with Cisco at the moment uh, Cisco is is still trying to get around Mage Hand sweet I'm going to have another attempt at the lasso yeah, make me a throw <laughs> 22. Yeah. Uh, he's like, ah, but you, you managed to, um, to lasso Cisco, the, uh, the claw foot. Um, he's like rears back, uh, and is still kind of like pulling to try and get the, the corpse of the closet on the bridge. Um, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, once I've reeled him back in, I'll, Cut off the bit of the rope and I'll give it to Timby. Like, there you go. Now you got a leash for uh, your little little dino buddy. You're giving it to Tim. I think it's going Yeah? Okay. Oh, yeah. Tim's tiny. No, it's too late. <laughs> Just <laughs> skiing along behind a dinosaur. Yeah. Uh, Tim addresses Cisco and says, Come on now. You'll get the food eventually. You've just got to be patient. Make me a charisma persuasion check. Oh, he's very bad at this. And he's rolling at disadvantage still. <laughs> Persuasion, huh? Ooh, they're both pretty bad. Yeah, that's a seven. It's actually enough, because uh, Cisco... Actually, no, that's wrong. Sorry. Oh. That's a four. It's my <laughs> one. It's not a one, though, which is what Cisco got. Okay. Oh, Cisco really? kind of takes a step back and kind of blinks. Um, and in that kind of reptilian third eyelid kind of way, the glazed expression seems to clear for a bit. Um, and you swear you see the crest atop of his head stops like pulsating quite so vividly. Um, I'm going to pretend you didn't say throbbing. Uh, and he sort of comes back. <laughs> Especially after the whole puberty conversation. Let's not. He uh, he sort of comes back to himself and even gives you sort of a nudge with his, his snout. Come on now, that's enough of that. You've got to be a good boy. We'll get you some food. Just like the, the reptilian equivalent of a horse going... Yeah. I mean, Come I, on now. I whisper, I whisper to Tim being like, if we're lucky, we'll, he might have some fried fizz in a moment. <laughs> oh, I'm, I don't... I mean, I've told him already he's not supposed to eat his friends. He's, he's already walking over the bridge. <laughs> okay. Please make me a dexterity acrobatics check. Um, 
Um, do you know what? I'm going to use my inspiration. That's a 16, but just in case, I'm going to use my inspiration. Uh, roll it again. See what we get. That's 15. I'll take a 16, please. <laughs> <laughs> it is enough. Okay. So it's kind of very slowly, like, reaching out, sort of, hand over hand, kind of goes along, um, trying to keep his feet sort of to the outside to the planks, so, like, it doesn't wobble too much. It's kind of just like, Ugh. it is not graceful. He looks like what he is, which is a terrified bird man <laughs> who's not used to doing anything even remotely altruistic. But after what feels like an eternity, he reaches the other side. Um, Fizz, your knees practically buckle as you reach the, the far shore and you sort of hit the dirt. Find a, a false knees anyway. <laughs> okay. Good. It's a bird joke. Oh. I was, uh, actually, yeah, which way do Kenku's knees bend? In the way Fizz is drawn, they're they're normal humanoid, but is Fizz actually like like bird walking this whole way? <laughs> uh no, in all the art they've got normal knees by the looks oh. of things. Oh no, no, they've got they're like double in some of them. I think it depends on the art. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, well anyway. It's like knee and then other knee. <laughs> okay. I guess that's ankle, but you know what I mean. Yes, yeah. Knee, other knee, kiddie knee. Um, <laughs> Fizz makes it to the other side. Amelia is going to try. And the saving throw. Okay. She manages to catch herself, but Amelia gets to the middle and the bridge just snaps. <gasps> um, the two halves kind of clatter down and she just about manages to cling on with her fingers to one of the boards. She is being suspended over a molten lake of, of lava uh, slash sulfur. Um, and you hear her just go, Oh! Ha! Ah, anybody? Wait, so Amelia! Did the entire bridge snap yeah. in half or just the whole thing? Okay. Which side is she dangling on? So it's like Indiana Jones style yeah. against the Far side. Edge. Okay, so not not near us. So just she's like below this. me yep. then. Okay, I guess I'll In try fact, to some um, some lava crocodiles show up. Oh no! <laughs> oh, you, you can't do anything about a bloody lava crocodile showing up. I know. Showing I know. Um, okay, yeah, I'll try and pull her up with my eight strength. Okay. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> God. Uh, yeah, do it. Make me a, a strength check. She'll make one as well. Okay. Oh, it's a seventeen. She Yay. she got a twelve, which isn't which means she doesn't actively hinder you. Um, yeah, you do just about manage to pull uh, Amelia up, um, preventing her from suffering the same fate as Molaram. Um, I think every single corner of the labyrinth could hear just Fizz going. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's accurate, yeah. Um, <laughs> Amelia hits the far side, and it's like, oh, <sighs> told you, if I'd seen that happen, I wouldn't have got on that bridge. Oh, well. <laughs> um, she then sort of looks up, and ever so slowly, you see the ropes, like, at the end of uh, the broken halves of the bridge start reaching up and sort of reaching out as if they're trying to grab hold of one another and they do they touch and they start to knit together and slowly the planks kind of coalesce as well and the rope bridge with an awful lot of creaking uh re-establishes itself the corpse the corpse of the closet is gone uh it is being torn apart by it's being torn apart by lava crocodiles oh those greedy crocodiles <laughs> yep. that was Cisco. Yeah, well, Oh, it wasn't. It was mine. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a chocolate orange advert. It's not Cisco's. It's mine. Terry's chocolate closet. Um, Christmas treat for everyone. I'll go next. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing dex. Acrobatics. Acrobatics. Yeah. Um, quickly, because I'm in the papoose, aren't I? Tips. Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, 
would that have a negative effect on this situation? <laughs> Mean is doing everything impossible to try and get bad rolls. I would side. say <laughs> yeah. no, not if Tim is behaving. Tim is behaving. Then... No. Uh, what about Cisco? He's on the leash, isn't he? Oh yeah. Is... How are you? Uh, <laughs> yeah. So There's an arm outside of bit... Tim is Tim is not going to provide any impediment to um to mist crossing with Tim and the papoose. Cisco is, an, yep. is a factor. You could try okay. and pay out enough rope and leave Cisco there and then sort of pull Cisco over or all try and cross at the same time. I was going to say, can I, can Mobile say to Tim, leave the dinosaur with me, I'll make sure he makes it. And tr- like reach out a hand to take the leash. Can, now, now, look, there's something I need to establish here because I know, Alex Meehan knows, that more boss is a coward. And then <laughs> at any moment we'll drop Cisco if it How means dare you. okay. I like the suggestion that the characters in the party don't know that more boss is make a coward. <laughs> this far him. Make, well make me a wisdom yeah, insight check true. to see if this occurs to oh, Tim. Oh, this is meta. This is so meta. That is a four. That's fine. More boss, you look after Cisco. More boss loves okay, Cisco. Yeah, Tim Hans. Tim's hands more more boss Cisco and says, "Now yeah, remember, he's been very flighty at the moment. He just needs a firm hand sometimes, but he does like a bit of encouragement. Not, uh, not like that. Like <laughs> just you know, just a telling off to if need be." Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, in that case, Miss, could you please make me a Dex acrobatics check? I've done okay. It. I've got a 13. Oh, no. Uh, deck saving throw, please. Oh, gosh, Lolis, please. For the sake of both our characters. <laughs> uh, oh, where do I see this? I think if Tim falls to the lava crocodile, he might not make it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm struggling to find where I see that deck saving. Oh, here. Uh... Oh, that's a 16. Okay. Uh, You just, yeah, you do sort of just manage. You cling on to the last plank um, on the near side this time. You're like, you're you're hanging on by your claws. Like, Um, meh. Stop wiggling. (laughs) Can I try and climb up? Yeah. What's your AC? 14. Okay, just make me a strength check. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, that's 16. Okay, good. Good strength check. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> good job. But you do take 12 points of damage. Um, as a lava crocodile jumps up and oh! like, bites you in the leg. Oh! It doesn't manage to keep hold of you, but uh, kind of from the far bank, as you see that uh, Mist is um, climbing up to safety, but um, uh, their sort of their their fur around like the bottom of their trouser legs is sort of is distinctly red in hue because they are quite oh, quite that, hurt. That would have killed uh, Fizz. <laughs> what, sorry? That would have killed Fizz, had it been Yeah, the I want two hit points. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Um, I think, like, completely out of breath, he's like, Amelia, that... <coughs> oh, this one's yours, actually. <gasps> <gasps> well, I'm climbing up. Yeah, you're climbing up. But... Yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, Mist is on the other side. Other side. Miss is on the oh, near side. Oh, oh so we didn't, oh, so you didn't even make it across. Oh, sucks for you. Oh my goodness, so are you all right, Miss? I I'll be fine. I can cast healing word on myself. Maybe that's yeah, it's probably an idea. idea. <laughs> um, Better than healing bird, am I right? Am I right? Oh shoot. 
Okay. Uh, so it's not a loss, but you can help. cast it at a higher level to like heal more. Can I? Yes, you can cast it at level two in order to heal. Does it add a D four? Should do. I think. Yeah. Okay. That's I'll if you that. have the spell slots, which, for the sake of uh, time and the fact yeah, that I nearly killed the Tabaxi, you d let's say you do. <laughs> yeah. Add a D4. Why oh. not? Oh, Lord. Okay, I need that. Oh, God. Johnny, um, take his hit points and just... give his hit points away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only getting five, even with that. Okay. So, yeah. not so you and Tim are exactly the same levels of hurt. Yay! Yay! Um, Pain! Okay, the the bridge <laughs> uh, resets itself. Um, can okay. um, Tim... Oh, sorry, Farid, go ahead. I was going to say, after witnessing bloody Mist and Tim nearly bloody dying to the lava crocodiles, uh, I would like to make a, a wild suggestion of, uh, with my longbow, tying rope to one end, shooting the arrow to the other side so that if the bridge does collapse, at least we've got that rope secured so that we can stay The safety above. line. I love it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you could have come up with an idea earlier. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> I mean, uh, to be honest, I, it was entertaining to see everybody struggle. <laughs> but wow. now I, like, actually wow. wanna, I need to probably... I do you just want to point out the, the, the pegs that are holding the rope to the side of the cliff uh, the honor on the bridge will maybe be a little bit more sturdy than an arrow. <laughs> no, Farid said an arrow, and frankly, yeah, yeah, shoot the arrow over, and then I assume Fizz, you'll you'll like strengthen it up for us. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, coming You're up mate. to get the arrow. He could have just sat back and watched this happen some more. <laughs> just make me a uh... more boss. Sorry, carry on. I was going to say more boss. Just nods at Farid appreciatively, as if like. Good on you for waiting this long, <laughs> especially with like to watch Fizz go over and just see. This is like oh, chaos. The in the chaotic evil. Okay, part. make me just make me a dex <laughs> uh, a dex attack. Add to your proficiency for your bow. Okay. This is pretty simple. Just don't don't biff it. <laughs> I will not biff it. Shoot, shoot, uh, fizz. Oh, no. yeah. shoot fizz. <laughs> uh, hang on, <laughs> let me let me math a little here. Uh, uh, Twelve. Oh, no, me. 12. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> good. 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 <laughs> Lands pleasantly in the glass, uh, and you secure it. So you now have a safety line across the bridge. Good idea, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> um, can Tim look at Miss and go? Not that I'm not confident in you. Oh wait, hang on. What happened to Cisco? This goes with Morbos. She was Morbus on the beach. Morbus. Oh, it's with Morbos. Sorry. Yeah, you handed um, him to Morbus. Not that I'm not confident in your abilities, Nist. Uh, but I might suggest something. Can you let me out of the papoose? It's not you. It's me. <laughs> yeah, I'm letting okay, Tim out. lands with a slightly Tim... bloody wet plop. Open the little door. Yeah. Well, Tim is going to turn into a bat. <laughs> oh, for God's sake! Could you not turn into like a bigger animal and like carry me across? He can't. In fact, at, at, at lower uh, levels, you can only turn into a, a, a relatively yeah. small slash medium-sized I mean, creature. He it's can't an improvement get on a fly. <laughs> it is. It is bigger than a fly. A bat is bigger than a fly. Uh, yeah, he's gonna turn into one of those bats that are like. Are really adorable, and they've got like the big ears and the little squishy yeah. face. A swoobat. Yeah, like a swoobat. Um, <laughs> That's adorable than a swoobat. Uh, yeah, he's going to turn into one of those mm -hmm. bats uh, using his, his, what do you call it, wild shape. Yeah. Um, and yeah, he's just going to fly Fine. over. Yeah, <laughs> done. Little, little you do notice noises. the bat's wings look pretty raggedy because Tim is pretty beaten up. Um, yeah. But he's going to stay as a bat. Amelia kind of opens up uh, a, a side of her jacket and invites you to sort of perch upside down. Yeah, She, like, yeah, lets you snuggle that. in next to her. Um, so there is now a safety line across the uh, the chasm. Uh, the bridge has re-knit itself. Uh, and so far, Amelia and Fizz are the only ones to have made it successfully across. Can I and just, like, Tim. 
poke. Oh, and Tim, arrow. sorry. Tim, who was a bat. Can you just Tim poke bat. the arrow? Yeah, I just want to see how strong it is. Oh, didn't hey. we say that you've sort of... The, the rope went across, but has been secured to the pegs. Oh, I didn't, but maybe Amelia did. Um, yeah, I mean, let's say Amelia did that. This just fizz I mean, untying fizz. the knots. Being helpful? No, fizz don't do that. Uh, yeah, no, there is a secure safety line. Uh, uh, I would like to walk forward with Cisco. Mm -hmm. Say, all right, let's get this done with. And I'd like to use the rope that's with Cisco. Mm -hmm. um, if it's not long enough, I'd like to look to Farid if Farid would kindly lend me some more rope. But what I would like to do is tie knots around the two side ropes of the existing bridge, mm. the safety rope, and essentially form a harness for Cisco so that he can walk on the bridge... But if, say, planks were to break, he would be su supported. Okay. And then motion to Tim, who is now across the other side, but is a bat, to call Cisco across. Maybe not in bat form. But... Um, yeah, okay. Uh, Amelia kind of opens up her, her jacket and says to Tim, Tim, uh, I, think, I think Morboss wants you. That or he's pointing at my knockers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Tim... Looks a little bit scandalised, but then, as a bat might, and then uh, releases himself <laughs> from from her jacket, and yep. then, like flying is, is watching, you know, more boss. Okay. Yeah. Uh, gonna say gonna say anything, more boss? Or? Well, are you still a bat? Yeah. I mean, for God's sake. Just be the goblin again. <laughs> and then he turns into the goblin. Turns right. into Tim. Tim sanded Tim. I mean, this bridge is quite long, right? So I assume Morboss is just having to bellow this across this lava <laughs> chasm. Yeah. Yep. After I've tied the dinosaur to the ropes, call him over. Try not to excite him too much. We know what he's like. Get him to cross slowly. Otherwise, well, and then he just gestures down at the lava. Okay, I can do that. Uh, and then quietly to himself, Morbus is like, I don't know why we keep this dinosaur around. It's nothing but a, a weight around our necks. Um, but reluctantly, all the same, he ties knots to the two ropes and the central safety line with a harness under Cisco's stomach um, in a way that would support him were any of the planks to break. Yep, I think that's fine. Okay, and, then, and Tim is going to go, Cisco, come on, come do on. The, do they all pss, 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 pss. Yeah, they all pss, pss, pss. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, let's see how Cisco deals with this. Let's pull up his stats again. Uh, yeah, he starts, he's not happy about having to cross this bridge, uh, but he does sort of start slightly ungainly crossing. <laughs> Morboss, can you make me a, a dex acrobatics check, please? I would love to, Johnny. <laughs> I got a 12. Oof. I hope that's enough. <laughs> don't look like it, mate. It is not. Um, oh. Make me a dex saving throw. You can have advantage on this because of the safety line. Uh, a dex saving... Uh, oh, yeah, just a dex, normal dex saving throw. Yep. Okay. I'll take the first one. It's a 16. Okay. You, and then roll you, a six. You managed to grab hold of the safety line. So you're kind of now hanging upside down with sort of your legs, your ankles crossed and your arms there. Um, Cisco. Uh, let's see. Considering you were worrying about Cisco so much, look who's the, the weight here, huh? Cisco bolted when the, the bridge snaps um and managed to just about make it to the other side hey, okay, like he had to scrabble up the last now. little bit god if i die for a dinosaur my god how embarrassing <laughs> this uh, is yeah. why they went extinct you know <sighs> yeah more boss you were hanging over a lava pit um you notice the crocodiles are watching below. oh they're loving it they're just uh, waiting they've got little dinner bibs on so i'm just on the safety line right and the the bridges 
Yep. Kaput. Tell you what, I just uh, realized something. Yeah. Sorry. Real quick. Do you remember um, the last adventure when we went to get the chisel mm-hmm. and ye put that spell on us that meant we could walk on lava? I'm assuming has that run out? Does that only have like a certain amount of time on it? He record? did not give you that protection. Gosh darn it. I know. Yeah, although although you'd be protected from the lava, but you wouldn't be protected from the the crocodiles. Speaking of which, Morlos, what's your armor class? Oh goodness, oh, it's God. fourteen. <clears throat> you take three points of piercing damage. Oh, that's okay. It sort of just nips your bum. Oh, yeah. gives you a little pinch. A little pinchy, yeah. Three points. Nom 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 nom. nom, nom. <laughs> All right, cool. Oh wait, so this wait, where am I on the safety line then? The lava's quite close. If they're or they just very, they're very athletic. These off. things can jump. Okay. okay. Um, more boss. Well, presume I don't know. Was he kind of in the middle? It snapped in the middle. Yeah. Uh, okay, so he probably has a little cry, um, and then gathers himself before continuing to the other side. Great. Um, but yeah, just kind of clears himself up before getting across. He's uh, he's not big on heights, as we know. Mm-hmm. Um, but well, crocodiles. He... Well, crocodiles, yeah, crocodiles give or take, really. Yeah, but it's the height I think that is uh, that's doing it here. Well, the good news is that the tears dry on your face immediately as soon as they're <laughs> out. Um, uh, so it doesn't look like you've been crying. However, you are you are unable to hide the fact that you are shaking as you gain the other side of the ravine. Um, so, uh, on the, uh, yet to cross successfully, then we are just left with Mist and Fareed. Uh, I thought Morbus go was last. going last. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> he uh, you're going last. So I, well, I'm, uh, I'm really injured. <sighs> so, I mean. Yeah, everyone just kind of forgot about that, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, there's not much, you know, Tim can do. He can't heal. Yeah, I can't. I can't yeah. heal either, unfortunately. No, I know, but it's just like, why are you making me go last? What if I just bleed to death on the side? Because I, I believe in you. Oh, wait, and oh. if you fall this way, if you fall, so if you fall the other way, at least I can pull you back up. Whereas if I went first and you last, like you'd be a bit buggered. All right. Well, I'm going to use my cat agility and just leg it across if that makes it well, it doesn't really make a difference does it? Does I, think it, I, I think it works it? yeah uh, make me a dex acrobatics uh, roll you can have advantage on this thank oh wow <laughs> all right so well, I got a 13 again as your highest advantage. yeah I rolled a 12 or a 13 okay oh. um dex saving throw with advantage for the safety line do you not have a dex modifier yeah, that's plus. That's plus. Oh the next one. Plus five. Yeah. Ouch. Whoa! Uh, <laughs> oh my god, why am I rolling the same thing? Rolled 17. Oh, that's fine. Um, you hold on to the, you grab onto the safety line and uh, you manage to make it across before uh, crocodile. a crocodile can have a bite at you. Good stuff. Um, and you sort <laughs> of, you land on the, on the far bank. Um, Amelia sort of crouches down and, and grips your shoulder and is like, you're all right now. Don't worry. I'll help you in a second. Let's just see how Fareed does. Um, Fareed, you're on You're on the, the near uh, bank. And you're like, yes. They're not not going to lie. Part of you is like, why do I want a hammer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was very, very against this whole thing anyway. Uh, but we're here. So <laughs> going to make the best of a bad situation. Uh, I would like to not use the bridge and oh. use the safety rope as a tightrope. Oh. Yes, oh. please. Uh, that's a dex <laughs> acrobatics heels. check, if ever I... Uh, yeah, in uh, heels. heels. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to use my inspiration as well. So, okay, let's see. If I get better. No, that was not better. Uh, s- 17. 17 okay. is my total. Um, it is... There's no other word for it. It's erotic. Um, Fareed, Fareed leaps up onto the rope um, and sort of with the, the, the air rising in, in gusts from the lava, um, 
it's kind of like blowing his cloak out, you know, his his scandalously unbuttoned shirt reveals sort of a slight sheen of sweat on his his uh, chiselled pecs uh, as he just walks in massive high heeled boots across a chasm uh, of lava with a bunch of crocodiles who um, like he's on a catwalk. Yeah, they go. It's almost like they can sense your insouciance and they go they go bananas and. <laughs> Four Turn of them try and try and bite you, and not one of them makes it. Oh, they're wild. <laughs> what is your AC, just in case? Uh, fifteen. Yeah, no, not one of them does it. Uh, I, my highest was a twelve. Um, so all these crocodiles are like, nom, 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 nom. and if anything, it just makes the background like busier as he's mm. just like strutting. <laughs> To Are safety. we just filming like an 80s rock ballad music video? Oh my god, yeah. 100%. Uh, so he reaches the near bank uh, and everyone's just like... It takes a moment for everyone to shake it off. Even Cisco is kind of like, whoa. <laughs> um, and then uh, Amelia gets into her satchel and pulls out um, a small... Um, it looks like a flask for tea or coffee. Um, and it is made of some, it looks almost like it's, it's rock. It looks like it's almost granite and it is carved with all sorts of runes, sort of blood red runes that glow faintly. She goes, um, well, I wasn't, to be honest, I, I wasn't really sure I was going to share this because, well, it's delicious, but, um, let's just say Yinigu packed me off with some coffee and I think, Mist and Tim, if you drink this, you'll probably feel a bit better. She looks distinctly unhappy to be sharing her secret um, <laughs> flask of coffee with you. But um, she offers it to you. Um, I, you can, yep. Yeah. I was just going to say, I drink some, and then I kind of like... I was very bitter, so I'm like... Ugh, and then, but I kind of keep drinking it. Mm -hmm. um, but like forcing myself to. Uh, let's treat this like a normal healing potion, which is 3d4, I think. Okay, tin sops of the cup. Uh, no, so let's use it as like a greater healing potion. It's 4d4 plus 4 oh, oh. healing. Whoa. 4d4 plus 4. Ah, that should Good be coffee. more than enough. I don't even have that many d4s. Yes, I do. Make me a perception check, please, Fizz. Um, okay. I healed myself 17, which is, which is more than my starting HP. Cool. Yeah, that's definitely... <laughs> Uh, I've got a 17, Johnny. Okay, uh, I asked you to roll it because you're the born contrarian. Um, <laughs> uh, Amelia is looking slightly sheepish, yeah, and it's it's evident that she doesn't want anyone to ask too many questions about how she ended up with a flask full of uh, Yinigu's coffee when nobody else did. Uh, I say to the rest of the group, uh, by the way, guys, it seems pretty evident that Amelia doesn't want us to ask any questions about why she got some special coffee and none of us did. So just putting that one out there. Shut up. She screws the, the cap back on and puts it in her bag. It's very nice coffee. I know. Thank you. It doesn't refill, you know. That that was a that was half my coffee. Oh, I'm very grateful, Amelia. Thank you so much. Yeah, well, do me a favour and let's not talk about it again, eh? Amelia. Yeah. Amelia. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness. Where should we go then? As we gather ourselves, can I take a stab at guessing how far we've come and how far we might have to go based on the the loud voice that through houses us? Hundred percent. Uh make me a wisdom perception check, please. All right, wisdom, I'm great at that. <laughs> uh minus one to perception. That's good. Yeah. Oh, I rolled a five. That's a four. <laughs> Uh, you don't know. Um, you already are well acquainted with the fact that distance works strangely in Avernus. So um, the palace definitely looks closer. Um, in fact, it looks very close indeed. But for all you know, it could be 100 miles away. I am feeling very good now. Mm -hmm. So I am Aussie on. All right. Um... Let's go! <laughs> Yeah, Tim is equally as enthusiastic. He's like, yes! Yeah, you're both absolutely pepped up. On, yeah, um, yeah. On... Like, I like shaking, like, ah, never felt so alive. No! <laughs> it, it Remember gets... what happened last time. 
it gets Cisco fairly riled up as well. He's like, <laughs> 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 um, okay. Uh, you make me please. Um, make me an intelligence investigation check. Both oh. of us. All of you. All of us. Every last one of you. All of you. Thirteen. Twenty. Hello. What? What did you get missed? Five. Okay. Five or a six. <laughs> okay. Um, missed. And Tim, you become like just obsessed with your senses. Like Mist, you you're following everyone, but you are pretty much just chasing your tail constantly. Tim is is watching his hands to make sure they're all the yeah. same size. <laughs> like, I think they're getting bigger. Um, uh, Fareed, meanwhile, is is sort of he seems to be in his element. Um, and uh, you start following the maze again. Um, it started to change into kind of a lot of sandstone. Um, with like a cracked sort of paved flooring. This, it kind of, it's starting to look more what you would imagine when you hear the word labyrinth. Um, and he leads you forward. Um, and I tell you what, on a dirty 20, uh, you hear it early enough that you're like, everyone stop. Um, because around the corner of uh, this... Um... <gasps> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> around the next bend in the maze, you can hear um, a lot of snoring sounds. Ooh. Interesting. Uh, I would like to, with my boots of sneak like have a, a quick peer around the corner very ever so slow, slowly and quietly okay um i tell you what I'll, I'll this won't take up a whole charge i'll just give you the advantage on a on a stealth roll just to have a look around the corner okay. see what's see what's going on do, 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 do. that is 16 okay uh, what you're looking out onto is kind of like a it's like a small clearing in the in the maze you know where sort of there's a some there's a, a random bit of a maze where there's a fountain and some benches and stuff so people can take a little rest and you know generally just enjoy the fact that they're enjoying a maze there is one of these um the uh the fountain itself slowly bubbles up this sort of foul smelling sort of slurry i guess um just kind of like like running in in rivulets and and like glops down the side of at the fountain but um strewn around this little clearing are about 40 closets all of them asleep they are just sort of scattered around the clearing uh oi fizz mm. you, had, you had good luck with these guys earlier how about how about you take the lead again <laughs> just <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I, I sort of see my head poke out from the side of the wall, like, oh, those again, is it? Uh, <laughs> right. Well, uh, okay. Right. Let me let me give you lads a little briefing. All right. So it seems like the main weakness is to make their head explode. So if any of you are good at that, we're golden. If you can do that for if you do that for forty of them at once, then we can probably go in guns blazing. But otherwise, oh, maybe oh, we'll me. Just sneak. yes, miss oh, me. Oh, wait. I ca poke my head around the corner. I'm like, oh, oh, wait. I was going to cast sleep, but they're already asleep. Okay, well, it's a good <laughs> idea. Um, um, how about... <gasps> yes, oh, miss. oh, 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 me! Um, oh, uh, we could wake them up, uh, cast minor illusion, and get them to chase after something else. We could, although I did try that earlier and only a few of them ran off. I've got my illusion too, so we could both try it. Hmm. Pro now, Miss, I like the I like the idea that you've got there. The problem is that we are currently amongst forty sleeping creatures, and then the the idea that you've got would leave us potentially with forty alive awake creatures. creatures. Yeah, uh, awake. Sorry, they're not alive, my bad. Um, <laughs> they're obviously all alive. Uh, Tell you what, why don't we just try sneaking through? 
Are we? Can we see like a discernible thing that we're trying to get to on the other side of them? Just more maze. More maze. Fantastic. <laughs> Do we know the general direction of where the big, big, big howl was coming it is, from? Uh, you're not sure where the big, big howl was. Um, you know where the big, big palace is. Oh, okay. When we're Ooh, going okay. in that direction by passing through them. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I think uh, I'll just give my my boots a little tap. <laughs> Johnny, did we yeah. establish how many uses of wild shape do I get per long rest? Is it just one? I think it is just one, isn't it? Okay, I think it is just one. Yeah, at level two. Mm-hmm. Well, I was going to say, why don't I propose you, and then that's one less of us who's sneaking. I think that might be a good idea. Yeah. Tim goes, yes, place me in the papoose. <laughs> the stealth papoose. Right. Yes, the stealth tactical papoose. The tactical papoose, yeah. So, uh, Johnny, I want to activate my boots, but, like, literally, like, almost like I'm, I'm a half casting it at all points. I want a minor illusion to be sort of, like, ready. For okay. Reaction, That's fine. So that if they do wake up, I just turn myself to look like a shrub. <laughs> you, can, you can prepare it like a reaction, okay. Um, I do actually get two uses, but I'm going to stay in the papoose anyway. I'm going to disguise us anyway, I've decided. Oh, great. I can't wait for this new one. What what double disguise is this going to be? <laughs> Kangaroo with, with Joey. We'll see. This goes first. I can't wait. See how his, bush, his shrub uh, disguise goes. <laughs> Okay. Right, now, I don't know why, but I'm feeling particularly adventurous today, so I'm going to go first. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's see. Activate my stealth boots. Okay. Yep. So you get you get um, to make me a deck stealth. Uh, you get um, advantage because of your boots. Okay. I've got plus four on stealth, so should be alright. It should be okay. Uh, that's a seven on the first one. <laughs> <laughs> And on the second one, it's a six. <laughs> oh! Before we even start! You step <laughs> on a quasit's tail. Like the first step? <laughs> no. Oh, no. You get like six in. Okay. <laughs> Illusions. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's <laughs> Minor illusion to make something look like it's just run from the spot where the shrub is in like a different direction. Okay. Grab it. <laughs> I'm going to roll a d40 to see how many of them wake up. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't roll a crit. I rolled 41. Uh, <laughs> so while I won't add an extra one, the shriek from the, um, the closet that got stepped on rouses every last one of them <laughs> and they just come to life um okay so you've created minor illusion i'm a shrub, <laughs> yeah. I'm a shrub. and mist you've made one as well yeah what's your spell save dc please 12 mine is 14 okay 14 oh mine is 14 okay yes. not minus 14 <laughs> Jesus. That's another groat for the swear yeah. jar. <laughs> another groat. Um, okay. Uh, so they don't see through the uh, shrub. Okay. And the um, the minor illusion you cast miss has a pretty solid effect. Uh, all but nine of the closets um, run away, like following this illusion. Are you sending them sort of further along the maze? Do you have a particular? Yeah. Um. Just I. I guess. Yeah. Just any. Just. Is there like several different ways out, or is there just one way on the other side? Uh. There are. There are three different paths out of this section. Okay. I'm gonna go for the left one, the very left. Okay. One. Great. You hear them kind of like, ah! like running around. The other nine are like. Can Morbos use Formatogy yeah. to create an instantaneous sound from a point of my choice within range? How many times range? have you said that now? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm just recapping for the folks at home. so they know yeah. what It's useful, does. wheels. Exactly. So basically I can make a noise yep. um, from any point within range, which is 30 feet. So I'd like yes. to make it 30 feet away. 
uh, in the direction that Miss just sent everything else. Uh-huh. Um, and I'd like it to be Fizz's voice. And I'd like it to say, Oh, I'm a stupid bird man. Come and get me, you dumb demon things, whatever you are. Oh, look at me. Or something, uh, you know. Yep. And it just keeps nattering on like that, like Fizz does. Um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> the shame! Is this to attract the final nine? To attract the final nine, yeah. Okay. Uh, the final nine. It lasts for a minute. Uh, it works awesome. perfectly. It's going to all scrabble around. That, mate. And tell. they're like <laughs> scratching around, um, trying to find what this thing is. Um, let's see what Cisco's doing. Oh, no. Oh. I knew Cisco was going to be an issue. Who's got the leash? Uh, it would probably be. Well, you didn't take it back off me and you're in a papoo, so I assume I'm still <laughs> leaving Cisco. Yeah, make me a strength saving throw, please. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, it's at least a positive modifier. <gasps> Nat 20 plus one. Yeah! Ooh, one. Wow, okay, yeah. Uh, you see Cisco rear back and start trying and start tearing across the um, the the clearing, Um but you you see this coming and you're able to brace yourself and kind of like Ugh! the most assertive and confident more boss has ever been. He's just like, no, you don't. Yeah. Just you know, um, in a cartoon when something starts running, but they don't realize they got a leash on and then like the body goes. For the <laughs> oh, next no, no. <laughs> no. The, the, this is a harness across his chest. So chest. <laughs> while it does, it stops him dead. It's more that he starts rearing yeah. up. Um, I was gonna say his feet are going like this under Yeah, <laughs> trust me. Like, I mean, so you know, obviously Watson's a staffy. When she runs, if she wants to pull and you're not looking, she can nearly pull you off your feet. But if you see it coming and you're like, "I'm ready," then she goes from like running in her harness <laughs> to then just being like, Ugh! just upright. <laughs> and the same thing happens here with Cisco. Yeah. He starts like gnashing his teeth um, and making sort of frustrated chittering noises um which the closets incredibly do not hear okay, I'm like, let's go let's up. run go 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 and I, yeah, I'm gonna is in the papoose. um now sensing that i'm out of danger i leave the shrub <laughs> and reform it into the image of morbos hiding in a chimney <laughs> We think. <laughs> oh, Wait, wow. As, as a shrub. So, kind of like a manicured hedge. Yeah. Oh, why not? Yeah. I, it's, I, Edward scissor hands it into a. <laughs> yeah. Like, um, is that topiary? Yeah. Yeah. Topiary, yeah. 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 There's a topiary more boss crying <laughs> in the middle of this, um, this thing. Uh, so, are you all, are you all legging it? I am. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. And as I walk past the shrub, I'd like to stick my ember tail into it so it catches fire. Okay, everyone just roll me... It's an illusion, Morphos. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Illusions, Morphos. Um, everyone roll me deck stealth. Just don't roll a one. Just roll me Even a d20 me. and don't roll a one. Uh, Even, yeah. Okay. Uh, is it on advantage because of the boots? Or no. Anything? 19. I rolled another nat 20. Whoa. Okay. What? Three. That's fine. Not a 12. Cool. Hang on. As long as it's not a one, you're fine. Okay, yeah, I didn't run one. Okay, great. Uh, yes, yeah, so you make it across the clearing to the other side. Um, there is still a, an awful lot of, of noise as you hear the sort of the quasits uh, scrabbling around for, for hidden foes. Um, and you hear sort of uh, Morboss's impression of Fizz being like, oh, I'm a stupid bird man, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um, and then, let's see. Uh, so. If you're looking at the, the sort of the palace ahead of you, you've got, you know, obviously labyrinth, labyrinth, labyrinth. Off to the right and actually slightly beside you, no, sorry, behind you, um, you hear a roar like you heard before. Um, and uh, you see another enormous chunk of um, stone. It temporarily blots out uh, the, the light, the infernal light above you. Uh, and lands somewhere off in the maze uh, where you suspect uh, the minor illusion was sort of scrabbling around with the quasits. And you hear a sort of uh, half a shriek suddenly uh, silenced. Oh dear. Um, 
as whatever it was. Uh, just try, just it's like a grumpy neighbour. It's been like, keep the noise, Dan. But he's <laughs> he's just smashed thirty one closets. Goodness, wow! With a big chunk of stone. Well, that doesn't sound ominous at all. Whatever it is, is it going to make its way over to our adventurers? And will they survive? Find out next week on Dungeon Breaker.